Now, if you're dealing with a freeloader, someone that's basically loaded shit up freely, because of course you're basically giving your free energy to these people, these people are gonna keep loading their shit on your space. So you carrying all their baggage. So now you manifesting shit that you wasn't supposed to be manifesting in your life. You manifesting circumstances and situations and scenarios that wasn't supposed to go into your life or in that favor and in that motherfucking way. This is a circumstance situation that you took on the responsibility. You took a bullet that wasn't aimed at you. Now you basically suffering the reciprocations. You created, you create, you create committed sin, motherfucker. You committed adultery. You went to go marry somebody else's problems, somebody else's circumstances, somebody else's situations. Now you see how that shit, that energy got reciprocated right back into your field. Watch who you share your energy with. Watch who you connected with. And of course, watch who you interacting with. Because this is a circumstance situation that these motherfuckers is in hell. And of course, everybody ain't in heaven. Everybody ain't in a godly state. Everybody not in their godly natures. So you gotta understand and understand that if certain don't feel right, <laughs> you need to learn how to feel. Feel me? Fuck logic. Fuck all that shit. Logic come last. Learn how to feel about a situation. Learn how to experience. Just be open. And of course, if the experience is cool, you will know. If the experience was not cool, you will have higher knowledge and higher understandings of what you should do and what you should not do. And of course, how you can create a field and create a um, blockage to not allow these experiences to basically re be reciprocated to your scenarios. Because of course, if you don't do shit about it, that's free will. So you just agree to the terms and conditions of allowing shit to basically keep freely happening. If you don't get up and get off your ass and do something about it, then of course, ain't nothing gonna be basically done about it. So this is a circumstance situation where you need to get situated and get inclined on how you can basically take responsibilities over these scenarios that won't basically be happening on a repeated basis back into your life. Because of course, your life and your world is very important. So of course, this is a circumstance situation. If you're not taking things very important in your life, then of course, things are gonna slack off. You're gonna slack off. And of course, motherfuckers are gonna see you slacking off and they're gonna basically be able to actually use you as your crutch. You don't wanna be getting used as a crutch out here. So understand, understand that if the 50-50 mark is not basically being replayed back in your area, this is how you do these things. Also, if you're in a relationship with a freeloader at this moment or at this time, this is your time to basically slowly but surely or quickly but surely make your way up out of that scenario. Don't even put yourself in that scenario, feel me? Because you're going to be Cheerios to this motherfucker. You're going to be cereal to this motherfucker. These motherfuckers are going to use you. These motherfuckers are going to basically be eating, on, eating in your living room, leaving the crumbs on the floor for you to basically pick that up and clean it up. These freeloading ass motherfuckers, don't allow them to basically bring you down to their level. And of course, their level is nowhere higher than yours. So of course, being that you on a, on a great level right now, they're gonna bring your ass the fuck down. And of course, when they bring you the fuck down, they're gonna basically bring you down with them. And of course, you don't wanna come down with nobody. Feel me? You wanna make sure you're in a vibration and energy still where you and your space and location, where your peace is not being sanctified by nobody else. And of course, this is the whole purpose of protecting your peace, protecting your energy, and protecting your space. Don't allow the freeloader to basically Ramadan your space. Feel me? You gotta learn how to do your own Ramadan. Motherfuckers don't know how to do their own Ramadan and basically take care of themselves and help with themselves. And these motherfuckers ain't got no discipline, no self-discipline, of course. How you how they gonna be able to handle anything? And of course, this is a circumstance situation. These are titty sucking ass vampires, just like I say. These motherfuckers is just hanging on to you. Just like motherfucking pubic hair. Hang on to you. They keep coming back and keep growing back. They're trying to basically live within you. So if you're not allowing yourself to be able to examine and look at the details of these actions that's being predicated to or thrown into your, into your area or your space, the motherfucker is going to be very hard for you to basically get out of that area. Because of course, the longer it takes for you to get out of the circumstance situation, these are the devils and these are the ribcage that you created of feeling vulnerable or feeling sad or feeling depressed and down because you're not basically stepping up to the motherfucking plate. No, you got to step up to the plate. Fuck how they feel about the circumstance situation. You're the one that's basically parenting them. They the ones that's sucking on your titties. They the ones that's eating up all the fruit in your motherfucking yard. They the really what reasons why the snakes is here because the snakes seeing that you basically allowing this shit to happen so the snakes gonna come into your field too. Now you gotta pick up all the work. Now you gotta pick up all the tasks. Now you gotta pick up all the responsibilities of a motherfucker that's not picking up their weight, picking up their load. These are selfish motherfuckers. And of course, they only worrying about themselves. So if they got themselves situated by them basically being free little on your titties, then of course these motherfuckers are gonna basically be very petty. And of course they're gonna get comfortable. And when they get too comfortable, when the demon get too comfortable, a demon think everything is good. <clears throat> but of course, you gotta learn how to 
get in your godly state and of course throw that at demon tell that demon no more comfortability no more locked doors no more food no more safety feel me these doors stay open and of course i want to see everything you're doing i want to see every crumb that come out your lips every time you eat in that damn biscuit or that dry ass popeyes biscuit I want to make sure that you cleaning up your shit. I want to make sure that you basically making it a 50-50 deal. And if it ain't a 50-50 deal, when you tell that bitch ass, weak ass, weak ass motherfucker, that that motherfucker got to go. He got to go. ASAP. No Rocky. We not wasting no time with these motherfuckers. No more freeloading shit. Feel me? You been, you been pouring your heart out with these motherfuckers way too long. Allow these motherfuckers to get about your life real fast. Because these motherfuckers are going to use you and fuck you in your ass and tell you to bite the covers. Knowing you the one that's supposed to be in charge of the motherfucking house. So make sure you're doing your part. And of course, making sure these motherfuckers is making room out of your life. Real shit. Something gotta give.